Hello and welcome to today's video. Last we left off, we had we played a little around a little bit in the FA Cup, gotten much or further in the competition, doing well, drew a very nice team. We also had another victory. Since we last left off, however, the team has been almost unbeatable. I mean, we left off what here, playing against Hereford, or playing against Eastley. I had not dropped a game until just a couple days ago in terms of gameplay. We drew against Bath simply because one of our players, uh, Asante, who is, by the way, a League Two standard player playing in the National League South, uh, he had to go away on international duty for the under-23s. We also had Chris Paul go down with an injury during the game. And this suspension has happened before. And we just couldn't generate any offense. And we lost to a stupid ball in the last five minutes of play. However, we still are the best team in the League North. Unfortunately, I forgot halfway through this game when we were playing Epsfleet. Oh, wait, that's the first in the League. I might want to record that. I no, missed it. Still, we came 3-1 up over them, dominated them completely, showing them how well we did. Also, looking at this, top and goal scoring, two of the top three uh, highest rating players. One of, I mean, we have a pretty good shutout. It's not the best, not the end of the world. But today, we're going to have two cup games. First, the FA Cup, we are playing away against Solihull Moors, who are second in the League North, meaning we're probably going to lose this one. But we can go out without... Outside chance of winning this still, some good money. If we beat them, oh baby, we're, we're, in, we're in business. And then we're going to be at home against Blythe. We are at home against Blythe in the FA Cup second round. Our FA Trophy second round. These are League North team. We're expected to probably beat them handily. Continue for in that competition. We have also, oh my goodness, we've had so many matches recently. Because the players have been so exhausted, they've barely been training. But... Eight matches in a month, eight matches in a month. It's finally looking like it might be slowing down if we start, if we lose both of these. Goodness gracious. So, uh, to play this game, we have a back, or, uh, uh, French and goal, a back four of Moore, Richardson, Alucard, and Stanley. The same stuff we've been doing. Isaac Crocker and McNabb represent the midfield, because we have two people out there normally in our starters. Smith, Jeffers, and Asante. Of course, as are amazing, amazing strikers. Crocker and McNabb might be at the end of the match. That's okay. Another player who's really been impressing me recently. Uh, don't let her streak in here. They did not appreciate that. Well, I can pump them up with some fist pumps. They have full faith in me. As I was saying, one of our team members who is impressing me recently is Stanley. Since I switched him to a fullback on attack, he's been singing. Oh my god. Ooh! Ah! That's bad. That is really bad. A potential groin injury. Hopefully, it's nothing too serious. Bring on Thompson, who's actually a decent option as a target man. The substantially worse one. He's the one that we had starting when Asante was off on international duty. So, this might be the end of our beaten streak with him out especially but as i was saying stanley really impressed me he's been coming forward playing in the attack he's been not really scoring goals but he's just been a nuisance in the offense for enemy teams recently because of how close he's been coming to the scoring box and he's been getting assists he's been getting ahead playing overall really well mcnab oh finley mcnab since he came back from injury, first time starting, quite good. It's one of the ones we had starting at the beginning of the season. I've been playing him much recently since we got the uh, Loney in. They're pretty much interchangeable. It just so happens that McNabb is slightly better when he wants to be. Like, oh, why are you, why are you not starting me? Then he slaps me over the face a few times and just goes and scores a goal. They are looking good, about even on XG. It's a real nothing game. It happens a lot in the first half. Uh, very first, good first half, I'll tell them that, even though it's been nothing, because we have come out with a goal, a real lucky goal. Goal nonetheless. Alucard's probably going to have to come off. Another downside of our team, we are running out of backups. 
has been getting rid of people. I haven't really been bringing people in exchange. Uh, one of their players is injured. That's okay. A few more minutes, and we will swap in. Blue card will come off. And bring on Thatrin. Needs a little bit of game time. Bont a Stanley is also going to come off for Eddie Jackson. Weaken our defense substantially just based on their overalls. But we should be okay. okay. One more option to switch off. Offense has been non-existent, but we really don't have a great option because I'm not wanting to play these guys. We've got, let's see, we can switch out a midfield player. I guess you could also swatch out from Matt Richardson. You I guess I'll switch off Richardson for somebody. Clean is probably I'm gonna fresh legs in the defense. Hopefully we can hold off for another 10, 15 minutes. Walk away today with a victory against all odds. <laughs> against all odds. I had realized I've been playing this whole time on uh, extended highlights as opposed to key highlights, which explains why it was taking so long to, uh, for anything to happen. Smith now. Aiden Smith scores a goal for us. Before our strikers all went out and went down with injuries and whatnot, uh, we have had very lethal strikers. Between all of them, we have like 40, 45 goals. Uh, what a performance. What a performance indeed. That brings us through to the next round. Apparently, I just earned an achievement, Gold Rush, or in 20 consecutive matches. Very, very good to see. Brings us to the next round of the FA Trophy. I'll, the draw on that I'll be as part of this video. But uh, not a whole lot happened, but I'm happy about that. XG was in our favor, possession was in our favor, just overall a great job. That being said, I'll be back with the second part. This video, the next match coming up, and we're back with the FA Cup third round draw. Champions, apparently Liverpool favorites. Uh, what would you prefer opponent? They say Birmingham Championship Club, though they also would like Brighton or Millwall. I personally prefer a team very, very high up. Sunderland. Uh oh, we are away against Sunderland. Nope, that's Watford. Watford is our parent club. What am I smoking? Okay, Salford, Rotherham, that, Middlesbrough, eh. West Brom, sure. I mean, anybody up in the Champions League proceeds, I'll take it. Me, me. Me, me, me. Well, me, me, give it to me. They really don't. Held, held his parents. A couple options there. Man, UFC. Fortunate. Hip switch. Villa. Bill. Wednesday versus Preston. Brighton. Oh, they wasted on each other. Everton, come on. Nope. Wigan versus them. Unforced. Come on. Getting lucky here. Blackpool. Sorry, I was I played as them recent Chelsea. Oh, come on. Just like this. Norwich. Tottenham. Southampton. Oh. Fleetwood. Millwall. Man City. Come on. Arsenal. I can do that. Bridge. Crap. Well, it is a Premier League team. We're certainly going to get a get a match out of it. But it would have been so much better had this been reversed and we were away against them. Still, uh, Premier League club, we're going to get absolutely destroyed. But it's going to be our record-breaking attendance. If we had a bigger ground, it would be nicer. But uh, let's go ahead and check the schedule. When is that game being played? is undecided yet yeah, we'll have to we'll have to see where that is played that'll probably be our next video but for now go off 
uh, Smash in Blythe. Okay, we're back for the game against Blythe, the home game against Blythe. A few substitutions we made. Our midfield looks basically the same. Uh, up north, or up north, up, up front, switched in Joe Neal for Max Thompson because, I mean, they didn't really do anything. And Joe Neal's kicking up a stink because he's not getting game time, and I'm trying to get this guy uh, to leave, do something. Uh, other than that, because we won and McNabb had a really good game, he keeps the start over Bebbington, who's on the bench now. Uh, I consider swapping out the, the backs, but I do want to win this game get further in the tournament. I have switched more over to an inverted wing back because that is his preferred role. Gives him four and a half star current ability. And then Stanley's back to pull back where he wants to be. Uh, you don't know why everybody fluctuates so much. Guys are lacking in match sharpness. That's okay. But he's happy. Sometimes they're they're four star. Sometimes they're three and a half star. They've just been going up and down and up and down and up and down. Uh, don't let our win streak come to an end. They are not happy with that one. We pump up our fist. There we go. Really trust me. I another thing to note. I am on a three year contract now. Uh, it's on less money, of course, because that's what I had to do to get the long term contract. But I'll be with this club in the foreseeable future. They're playing a back six, a 4 2 4, what it looks like in reality, as I've said on the stream many times, it is more like a 6 4 with no midfield. All they have is defensive midfielders who are roaming a little bit. McNabb now forward, and unfortunately is not able to make the magic happen two times in a row. Mudge at my score. Off. And Jeffers, no, wrong side of the net. We tried to get that in. Our strikers are probably going to be much less good. Goodness, Stan picked up a knock. Oh, my. Bring on Eddie Jackson for him. Let them do what they want to do, though. Go Jeffers now, our lead striker, for whatever reason, has the ball. Smith trying to come in. Tries to find someone in the middle, but there is only pink in the middle. There is no, there's no red. So we end up with the ball back. They've really pushed everybody far back. What the heck? Jeffers now trying to chase. Not able to quite control a header properly. Seem to be playing a really defensive system, or at least they're pushing everybody really far back. Noxious Smith now uh, on the breakaway. Their goalkeeper is able to get a hand on it to slow the ball down, so they are able to clear it. We have been the dominant team on XG. Keep in mind, this game will go to extra time because I don't want to play more than this game more than once. Honestly, I'd be fine with just dropping out of this stupid trophy. But the more money we have, the happier our season will be next year. This is a good chance we end up getting promoted. If we get promoted, we're going to need to go professional. Currently, we're a semi-pro team. And we're not going to do well with uh, going up. Everybody looks happy except for our goalie that I was unhappy with that. Crocker wins the ball back. He is a 16-year-old. But remember, he is someone I'm very much looking forward to. Smith now more. I can on his left side. Come on, just run past him. You're really fast and you're a good player. You're the best player on our team currently. And yep, Gary Moore. First goal of the season is not shocking considering he's a fullback. But he is doesn't like do he's not really been doing that sort of run. Whenever I've seen him, it's always been Stanley who does that sort of thing. Gets in. I thought he was going to cross it. He had so many options in the midfield, but he decided to just go at it himself. He didn't like any of the options we had at striker today. Said boo to you. I'm going to score myself. Let's go out and score another goal. Not like that. If I get another goal scored just so we are dominantly ahead. We also are bringing a few more people in trial because our lack of depth is beginning to show itself now that injuries are happening considering our whew, game time. As I said, we've been playing a game after game after game after game. I've been resting them basically anytime we're not playing, they're resting. Because I don't want this first team squad to keep getting injured. But we, I mean, we've been getting them. No two ways about Oh! That was close. There's no two ways about it. It's going to happen. And we don't really have great replacements. Occasionally, I've been having to call up the 16-year-olds down in the development center. Two-star current ability kind of guys. 
come up and do something, anything really. Okay. He's still ahead by one point. Let's go out and score another one that I'd be comfortable bringing in the substitute. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, did we just... Away a penalty! French, I know you've never saved one before, but I need one today. Nope. Could you just shove that man down? Okay, we need a little bit of freshness. Do we? Do we don't really. I think we're just going to play them until they die because it's looking like it's going into overtime. They're ahead on XG simply because of that uh, thing, whatever it was called. Max Thompson can come on for Joe Neal. On for oh, one of the good strikers. Switch off Alucard for you. A little freshness there. And I think that will be the substitution to make for now. If this goes into overtime, we'll look into making more, but it's probably going to go into overtime and then into penalties. I don't want to swap off any of our good players. Oh, don't let them score. Oh, we're still in a highlight. The key highlight, so maybe we can go and score a 90-second minute winner. Ab, a miracle goal in you like you've had in the past? No, they're on the attack now. Don't lose. Please? I said please. That's the it. Okay. Uh, let all that effort be for nothing. Good. We'll look to make us some swap offs. Oh. Battered. Uh, Thompson's going to have to come on. Uh, Jeffers, you know, we're going to bring on like this. If you have a deep line forward, you can play as the target forward on support. Like to. And like Nav will swap off for. And, Really needed to win this game without going to overtime because we've got so many games coming up. Oh, well, is the first half go into the second half and see if they've got anything in them? There is no. They are fully gassed. Not even a highlight in the entire. Oh. that why would you head that kneel now smith Smith is too tired to to be able to chase after that i assume everybody's tired in this game and there goes our win at 119th minute lost this match i can shout at the players as our first loss in a very very long time i'm not surprised they they are look at this they are destroyed embarrassed by the performance should be doing better and believe that my they're, they're delighted because we even made it but they're disappointed that we lost that game i'm disappointed that we lost that game however we still have a game against newcastle coming up in the uh a couple months that's probably where we'll make our next stop in the videos that being said thank you very much for watching and i will see you all next time thanks for watching you should watch another, please.